guys and welcome to another webinar by Royal Cyber. My name is Amar Nadeem and I'm a Senior Business Development Executive at Royal Cyber and I'll be your host for today. Before we start, if anyone is not able to view my screen or hear me properly, kindly notify me in the chat window located on the right side of the pane. Uh, today guys we're going to talk about Google Analytics and Enhanced Commerce. Uh, let's take a look at our agenda for today and how we're going to start the presentation. Uh, in the beginning, we're going to have a brief introduction on Royal Cyber, followed by what exactly is enhanced commerce, and the additional actions in terms of internal promotions, promo codes, and segment and remarketing metric organizations. And the last but not the least, we'll have a question and answer session. Now moving forward, um, let's talk a little about us. Uh, basically, Royal Cyber, uh, we have global client implementations uh, in multiple implementations experience. Uh, we have beyond implementations, 24 hours support and maintenance uh, for our clients. One of the things that makes Royal Cyber different from any other IT company or uh, services company is because of our effective on-site uh, offshore model, uh, which is basically a low total cost of ownership. Uh, we also have enterprise mobility, uh, method, methodology and good practices. Uh, we have specialized industry verticals and add-ons, uh, and the highest level of competency in e-commerce. Now uh, let's move to the other slide and let's take a look at our technology stacks. <clears throat> to our left, uh, we have our services and solutions that we provide mostly in web sphere commerce, CPQ, order management, Sterling Integrator and Message Broker, Analytics, and IBM Tea Leaf. Some of the Quick Start packages that we focus on are Fusion Commerce uh, with Quick Start implementation with WebSphere Commerce, and may include OMS, CRM, Email Management, Configurator, Salesforce, and Mobiles. To our right, we have a list of our leading clienteles. Uh, the most Goliath companies that we work for is uh, 360 Training, uh, Kmart Australia, Office Brands, uh, Follett, T-Mobile, Verizons, uh, just to make, name a few. Uh, now on the next slide, let's take a look at Royal Cyber and IBM. Uh, briefly, uh, to tell you guys, Royal Cyber is an IBM a premier business partner and has been working exclusively across all the IBM technology stacks since 2002. Royal Cyber takes web to commerce very seriously and strictly adheres to IBM best practices and policies thereby successfully providing the best enterprise solution and service for our customers. We understand IBM technology and integration, including the application, middleware, integration, APIs, and etc. Some deep experiences with IBM technology since 2002, since we started working um, as a company. Uh, we have a thought leadership and unique product extension. We have our own products that are integrated with IBM products and Oracle and um, all such um, languages and companies. <clears throat> we also have a trusted long-standard relationship with IBM since 2002. And we have a highly experienced IBM practitioners, IBM specific, not agnosist. <clears throat> Let's talk a little more about the awards and nominations uh, that we have. Uh, basically, in 2013, we have been nominated for the IBM Beacon Award, uh, the IBM Impact Mobile Innovation Award, and we also won Best Smarter Commerce Cell Award for 2013. Later that year, in 2014, we won the Innovation and Enterprise Modernization Development Award in 2014. <clears throat> uh, Let's take a look at our global presences uh, across the world. Uh, basically, our headquarter is um, in Chicago, Illinois. And we have uh, a bunch of offices uh, throughout the um, world, uh, starting from UK, Canada, Mexico, USA, South Africa, Australia, Saudi Arabia, and India. In total of which we have 650 employees, which out of that, which we have 300 IBM practitioners, in which we have 80 IBM certified um, resources and 12 managed services. Now, as always, uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's start with talking a little about Enhanced Commerce. Now for a start, I want to talk about Enhanced Commerce and with the launch of Enhanced Commerce for Google Analytics, online retailers have been access to deep insight into the behavior of their users. It's a comprehensive analytic tool that can help to increase conversions. 
This webinar discusses how Google Analytics is integrated with an online channel to work and gain insights, optimize customer experience, and maximize e-commerce sales. As always, we have a great speaker with us. And before we start, um, let me introduce you all to our speaker today, Mr. Vikram Aditya. Mr. Vikram Aditya is a senior marketing technology and web analytics consultant and Royal Saber. Uh, he's been working with us for the past eight years in the functional and implementation experience in IBM Customer Engagement Solutions and Google Suite. Uh, he also has a publication in the field of human computation and crowdsourcing. He's an expert in e-commerce, JavaScript, IBM Digital Analytics, IBM DDX, Google Analytics, and Tag Manager. And without any further ado, let me hand it over to Mr. Vikram. Thanks, Omar. Good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> Before we get started, I have a quick word about this webcast. Uh, we are live and interactive today, so we welcome your questions and uh, feedback as well. And I urge you to take part as much as possible. We'll do our best to answer your questions during the Q&A session of the webinar. Also, you can uh, notify us on the chat window if you have any questions. Let's start with the presentation. So basically, uh, it's about enhanced e-commerce that Google Analytics provides. Uh, let me start with a very brief introduction of what enhanced e-commerce is about. So basically, it's a complete revamp of the traditional analytics that Google Analytics used to provide, and with many other ways that uh, in traditional analytics you were not having. It allows you to capture a lot of information of your user that includes uh, not just metadata list and actions but even minute and granular details of those things like you have never seen before and initially the concept was to like track and log all the activity of the user but now it's ha it has become more than that so in terms of metadata when i talk about metadata it's not just one product it's a com it's complete detail of that product. Could be SKU, could be name, could be brand, could be category, variant of multiple things like could be color, could be size, and you can break it down those metadata into custom dimensions in metrics. You can li like break down those particular things as per your seasons, as per uh, some promotions that you're running. Along with that, not just that. Uh, we, we could have implemented the actions on the website. You can track clicks, product details, add and remove to and from cart. Uh, you can like track the checkout process, how, how many times the user refunded, on what amount it was refunded. You can track product impressions, clicks, click-through rates, each and everything regarding that one particular product. Not just a group, all the products that are appearing on your website be it from some promotion, be it from some product listing page, be it from the search page. Apart from that, enhanced e-commerce also introduced the concept of lists. So uh, the, uh, we'll talk more on these lists later in these slides, but just to give you an idea, this could be uh, all the product products appearing on some particular list like search pages, product listing pages or like on some particular page you are having some recommendations of particular products uh, relevant to your buying behavior so you can even track interaction of the user with those lists. What's the main difference between traditional and enhanced e-commerce? In traditional commerce the Google Analytics old e-commerce mechanism used to just give you an overview of the whole e-commerce like a summary a bird's eye view of that overview product performance could be how good or how bad is some product performing on your website sales overall sales of your business how many transaction occurred on one day or in a given period of time how much time it took to purchase but in enhanced e-commerce it gives you a lot more than that the e-commerce overview shopping behavior analysis like this shopping behavior and checkout behavior analysis is like something I really loved it and uh, it gives you a very good insights of how good or bad your business is going apart from that product performance sales performance 
product list performance, internal promotions, order coupons, product coupons, affiliate code. We will discuss all this later in the slides. So how was it without Enhanced E-commerce? Like what, what made Google think that let's have something called Enhanced E-commerce? Uh, in the past, we used to have like this type of goals configuration, the funnel configuration. So previously, what we used to do, we used to have the uh, URLs of the web pages that you want to track, and then we used to see it in the funnel reports. But in these reports, what happens is if if I have some, like say for example, on number four, I have delivery information. If some user has already saved this page in the favorites. So if he is coming directly onto that page, Google Analytics will think that, uh, okay, so this is, he is on step number four. He has already done one, two, three, and he'll not have, the Google Analytics won't have the numbers, but it will automatically fill, fill up those numbers. So that means someone coming directly onto step number four, it will have one, two, and three populated automatically. So that means that it's not the clear picture. It's not the right picture that you are, you are seeing. But eventually what happened is uh, that user will fall into some error and uh, you will see a, a very big drop uh, on step number four. So these were some flaws. And apart from that, we used to uh, track events, actions. Uh, how many times the user clicked on register button? How many times did the user clicked on add to cart button? So this was just very limited features of uh, the non-enhanced e-commerce version. But with enhanced e-commerce, what, what change it brought? Let's assume for a while, this is the whole journey of the customer on your website. He sees some product, he clicks on some product, he goes to detail page, he adds that product, like ideally, I'm talking just ideally, he adds that process, uh, that product to the cart, goes through all three steps of the checkout, and then finally see the receipt page. Now, what enhanced e-commerce gives you is it allows you to zoom in to any step, like see the trends, how is the whole process going on, how uh, if you want to particularly focus on funnel step one, you can just directly zoom into that in a given period of time. And if you want to see how uh, how people go from impression to product detail page, it will give you a very good insights on how actually did this thing happen on your website. And uh, <clears throat> it also gives you an uh, open avenue to individually segmentize some product or activity. Be it, uh, you can like just deep dive as granular level as transaction ID, the revenue it brought and what the product it selected. Uh, initially, I told you that I just love this report, Shopping Behavior Analysis. It gives you like an instantaneous uh, glance of uh, how well or how bad your shopping behavior, the user experience is. Uh, being monitored or how is being that carried out? Is it very good? Is it very bad? Is it bad at only one point at one at one step? Like maybe uh, you can see that all sessions were like 44,933, but only 13,698 people checked out. So it's very normal that a very less number of people check out completely. But some people comes on your website and they just go till the checkout process to just see how much taxes you apply, what is the final rate that I'm going to be charged from my card, or how much I'm going to finally be charged for this along with shipping. So you can actually like see deep dive into those steps. Like if it's a very nominal uh, kind of a steps that one, two, three, four, and they look like steps that, okay, they are dropping very at a lower level. But if they are not, if there is like some humps within this uh, shopping behavior analysis, so you can just quickly deep dive into that particular step, go on to that page, look for some problems that may have been occurring when the user tries to complete a checkout process. Or sometimes it happens that you can also uh, see that if some user is using Visa card or some ABC card, 
and uh, they are not able to check out. So you can just segmentize that session that, okay, so if this is the problem with the Visa card users. This is the problem with the MasterCard users. So you can just isolate that problem and have the developers to fix that problem as soon as possible. <coughs> Apart from that, uh, we also used to have a uh, report with, which tells you that how many users are the returning visitors, how many users are the new visitors. And you can also uh, categorize them as what campaign this uh, traffic is coming from, what region, what country, what device it's coming from. If you have spent on uh, the SEO thing, uh, what keywords they used, what source this traffic was brought by. So you can just deep dive into these little, little minute and granular kind of things. So talking about shopping behavior analysis further, that sometimes these these numbers are just like too many numbers, so you don't understand things. But if you deep dive, like if I'm uh, gonna analyze that what medium brought me the most traffic, or what medium brought me the least traffic, so that I can stop or start spending more money on that. So see here we have like. Uh, organic, referral, CPC, affiliate with percentages that this much percentage came with uh, with product views and they just went till product views, they completed the checkout process or if you are having some issues with your mobile apps. So you can just track them as, okay, so people who are coming from mobile apps are having the least number of revenue or least number of conversions, sorry. So if that is the case, you can just look into what issues people actually face while using that mobile app and these things are not usually uh, informed by the customer directly not at least on the first day that your mobile app is having this problem people used to come on your website used to navigate through your website and say oh okay this is the problem okay maybe we are not able to have this thing processed easily maybe it's some problem with them today let's get back them let's get back to them tomorrow so you this is this is where you lose your all your revenue so if there is some problem and you're looking at the reports, you're watching them and monitoring them closely, so you can just simply uh, <coughs> have it fixed instantaneously. And one more thing, that uh, maybe there you have some uh, promotion going on on your website and uh, it performed well in one region of the country and not very well in the other region of the country. So you can find out that, oh, okay, so I uh, had that winter sale and this performed well in the city where there was uh, winter was felt the most and uh, not in the other part. So let's have some other promotion for that region and let's keep this promotion going on for this region for this period of time. Okay. So coming back to a very interesting report from Enhancing Commerce is product list reports. This report is very interesting because it, it also tells you how many times that list was viewed, how many times it was clicked, and I'll also tell you how it is attributed to the whole revenue. So uh, there are some products that are shown in your search list, like if you're searching some pro product on your website and uh, you s for example, you're searching for rope for climbing. So get, you get to see some results, like 10, 15, 20 results on that page. And then you see that you don't even scroll down. You got the first product and just clicked on it and you just purchase it. And But the thing is, you need to have that thing, the rope for climbing word. You need to capture that and you need to capture all the products that were viewed uh, by the customer. Uh, and you can track them that product list views uh, okay the list name is search results the views were this much number of times and this much number of times is what clicked and if the user is already having some products say for example the rope is for 149.95 dollars and the user is already having a product of 50 dollars in that uh, in his cart so if he checks out, this whole revenue is going to be attributed to your list. Not just because you are, you are already having some product and you just click on this product. No, because this list brought you sale. 
this list uh, brought your customer to make checkout. Maybe the product which is already in the cart was already there since three, three, three or four days, but you need to have that sales attributed to that search results. It doesn't mean that you won't see it separately, but in the list you will also have the amount that you are seeing in the product list reports would be like attributed of the whole sale, the whole revenue. There are, uh, apart from that, uh, it gives you a great insight on what part, what page or what area of your website is being viewed the most. This product list view is going to tell you that, okay, search is being used the most, okay, uh, home page promotions, banners are being viewed the most, they are being clicked the most or some other recommendation list that is on the last page of your checkout process is, is that being viewed the most. So based on that, you can tweak your product listings uh, based on what area of your website is performing better. Moving on to the products reports, it's similar to what we used to have earlier but with a little bit of enhancement. Okay, so you have the product list name you have the clicks, you have the click-through rate at how many times the product that product was added from that particular list and uh, how many times that this product, particular product was checked out, what was the unique purchases and what revenue it brought. Apart from that, it's like if you can see as I mentioned earlier as well that you can see the Telcel, Movie Star, Rupa, Telefonos, Libraries are like few things, these are the names of the list. So how many times it was viewed? versus how many times it was clicked. And on the right hand side, it, whatever revenue you are seeing is not being generated completely by that list. It's just attributed to the list. Okay. I call the car to detail and battery detail rate the holy rate. It's very critical to your business to have this thing monitored very closely. So why I call this the holy rate because I'm a follower of Avinash Kaushik and uh, he used to call this the holy rate. This report gives you a deep insight of the car to detail and buy to detail rate. So, uh, so if you talk about product detail views, so it's like how many times a user came onto that product detail page. Cart to detail rate is something that you call that the number of products added to a shopping cart per number of product detail. Or cart to detail is the number of products added to a shopping cart per number of product detail views. So how many times what product was viewed and how many times it was just added or and it was even just bought. And it happens that people usually just add to the cart and they don't check out. So you can have a detailed info on that as well the whole performance of how your sales is going. Is it going up or is it being going down? And it, it, it allows you to see, uh, it gives you a very good idea of what kind, where, where, is, where is that thing lacking that is like losing the interest of your customer and the potential revenue and uh, so that you can optimize in that, in that particular part. Enhanced e-commerce allows you to capture many other things that were not just possible in the previous analytics, the traditional analytics. Say for example, you need to see how many times the product was zoomed, how many times the click video detail was clicked, and how many times the find on store button was clicked. Was it even clicked or is it just taking some place on your page and nobody clicks that at all? So you need to see that so that if, if you see that zoom on product is being viewed so much, so many number of times so that you need to optimize it so you, it's best if you can have some sort of good mechanism to have this product viewed properly. Maybe it's because the resolution that you're using for that image is not pretty much good enough so that everyone coming on your product page is just clicking on it to zoom into it so that they can see it. So it could be many reasons. So it's just... Uh, uh, an additional thing that's uh, which were not out of the box in those traditional uh, analytics.
internal promotions. Uh, say for example, uh, we are running some internal promotion on the website and it's for just one month. The December, the winter, the Christmas season, Thanksgiving. We are running it for a month, for a week, for five days, for ten days. So uh, we want to see how good it performed. So uh, Enhanced e-commerce allows you to have this internal promotion report set up and uh, you just need to have this thing clear that where are your internal promotions running. The internal promotions are actually meant to be all the promotions that are running uh, based on the catalog that you are having on your website. So how many times those promotions were viewed, either were they viewed or not. You can closely monitor them. How many times it was clicked and click through rate, what, uh, what internal promotion brought you the most transactions and what revenue it generated. See, the apparel here shows that 75, 76 times it was uh, viewed. Now, uh, you might be thinking that why every list is being viewed the same time, same number of times. So the answer to that is, on the home page, it usually happens that you have four banners. So when it loads, it loads in parallel. So these four were part of the banners of the home page. So this is the reason why clicks are different but views are same. Because you cannot control it, uh, ideally you cannot control it, but yes, the developer can. But uh, you cannot control it explicitly that uh, you need to be sure that either the user saw this or just navigated away before the second banner, ca second banner came in. Promo codes. Another interesting report that uh, is being used nowadays very commonly in all the e-commerce businesses. So it tells you exactly what coupon code was used the most, what coupon code brought you most of the sales. See, uh, the, the revenue it brought along with the average order value, was it like a good thing? If you, if you are like offering 20% off, so 20% on $100 is different than $20 on 20% on $1,000. So the, the, this makes a lot of difference. So it closely monitors what promo code yield the most profit. Profit in terms of is it just we are providing them some percentage off or is it really brought us some good, good amount of revenue. And uh, Google Analytics e-commerce also uh, monitors this, how much money is left to the, onto your site or is coming through that particular uh, promo code. So uh, this, uh, this will also give you an insight that, okay, the yield 20 was the promo code that was uh, sent via an email to all the customers who were like having the loyalty membership. So okay, so that means that your loyalty members, loyalty club members brought us the most sales. So let's give them another one month or another 20 days of this this similar kind of coupon. So this is how it works. Uh, here we are going to talk about segmentation and remarketing in Google Analytics. And uh, we're going to discuss uh, more on uh, how we are going to segmentize, how how good is remarketing and how well can this thing, how, what value can it bring to your business. Segments in Google Analytics are purely based on your checkout behavior. So in this horizontal funnel, you can identify the pain points in a glance. Say for example, okay, so billing and shipping, people were going very smoothly, then some people dropped off. Then on review page, order review page, some more people dropped off, and finally, 29.35 people were 29.35 sessions were with transactions. So that means that there, to me, it looks very normal. This is how it works. It's the it's usually the case that the best conversion rate ideally is like four to eight percent of your total. This is the conversion rate. So if you are having like four to eight percent you are doing remarkably well in, in in ideal world. So maybe it's very less for you to listen, but 
this is the real case so segment you can just segmentize you can isolate particular sessions particular uh, steps uh, of your checkout how many abandons were uh, abandonments were made on what step it was made what led that abandonment to happen what was the period of time that were having smooth transition till uh, checkout completion so it gives you good insights of all the steps that people are going through so here we have the abandonment rate uh, segmentation so there are few people who are running visitors and some are new so what we are going to do it so we are going to see that okay so these were the new visitors the, the old were the the upper one was the returning visitor so new visitors so we need to focus those new visitors why do they abandon was there something wrong they found on a website or what so enhanced e-commerce allows you to segmentize particular kind of people particular kind of products particular kind of sessions you can just isolate them research on them research on in terms of like you can see what made that process go wrong what made that process go very well or whatsoever so here you can see that you can put conditions that what condition to match for that particular uh, segment uh, what sessions or what uh, criteria it should follow so that you can uh, have that particular segment be populated so here uh, I'm gonna tell you uh, another great feature by enhanced e-commerce is you can build audience you can build audience so that you can remarket them so here you can see that after you create the segment you can export it as a new audience like uh, it would be like this is the the people who are fulfilling this criteria I want to just track these people and I just want to remarket them so here you can uh, uh, you can export as a new audience that would be targeted by the Google Display Network but you can just simply retarget them and finally the optimization process once you have the numbers once you have the insights and once you have the reports in your hand you figure out that okay this is the problem this is the good this is something going good this is something going very wrong so if that is the case once you reach that step so you can just see that okay uh, these are the products that I want to populate these funnels give me this type of insights and what is how, how well or how on a broader level is my business performing what's the average order value going on on my website what is the revenue that I'm getting is it better compared to last year compared to last month or is it going down cost per acquisition custom lifetime value order per customer so these are few things that you need to look into you, you need to get into those reports dive into those reports so that you can figure out the actual thing that's going on here uh, on your business so we can use we can make use of all those metrics that enhance e-commerce brings to us and you can even create your own if you want to uh, that are the custom dimensions custom metrics so in order to optimize the performance and with this uh, I think I'm done with this and uh, next is the Q&A session so you guys can just simply notify us in the chat window if you have any questions and apart from that you can also email us at info at royalcyber.com over to you Amar thank you Mr. Vikram uh, for the lovely presentation uh, once again this wraps up our um, webinar for uh, Google Analytics uh, once again uh, just repeating the same thing if you guys uh, have any questions uh, you guys can notify us on the chat window look at it on the right side of the pane if not uh, kindly reach out to us at info at royalcyber.com uh, anything regarding technical support you can reach us out at support at royalcyber.com for accounts and billing if you're already a client of ours 
uh, you can contact us at uh, billing at royalcyber.com. Our office hours are every day, uh, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. CST. Uh, on the below um, here we have uh, our um, addresses if you want to drop in a mail or something. Uh, until next time, uh, this is Amar Nadeem and Vikram Aditya. Uh, thank you for joining Royal Cyber Webinar. Take care and have a great day.